Hey my beauties, welcome back to my channel. Ah, I don't think I've ever been so excited to show you guys a video about my pregnancy because today's video, obviously, by the look of the background, we are in my baby girl's nursery. So today I am going to be giving you guys a tour of her nursery. I just can't wait until I finally see Jaylene in here enjoying her room. Without further ado, without making the intro so long, I'm just gonna go ahead and get into the video. So if you guys wanna see what her nursery looks like, then just keep on watching. what kind of thing we wanted to go for obviously my husband was like we have to do a birth theme like we've been doing a birth theme for her since the gender reveal so it was just appropriate to do that for her room we wanted it to be like sort of like birth theme related but also super girly and something that would be easy to transition just in case in the future we do end up having more children and it ends up being a boy then we can transition. So we wanted to do something that was white and gold with a little touch of a little bit of blush pink here and there. So you guys will see that throughout the entire room. And the first thing that we actually got for her room was the crib. This is gifted to us by Baby Leto. They were so sweet enough to reach out and say that they wanted to gift us her crib. And at the moment when they reached out to us, we didn't know anything about what kind of thing we were gonna go for the room or anything like that. But this was perfect because this was actually like the main piece that we went with of what we wanted to incorporate into her nursery. So this is the crib, you guys, that they gifted us and we absolutely love it. We were actually had already our eye on it. Remember, babe, we were kept like looking at cribs and this was on our list of cribs that we wanted to purchase. When Baby Leto told us that they had this one for us, um, we were just like, okay, yes, yes. <laughs> you know, like, there was no brainer. We obviously accepted. And so, they, yeah, they shipped it out to us. And what we love about it is that it's very, like, modern, but at the same time, kind of, like, still having that classic look to it. The thing is that we love that it has the acrylic, um, bars here in the front only not in the back or anything it's just the front and I love that because you get to see more of your child in there you know it kind of like really makes the even the sheets stand out a little more and everything so and this can actually transition into when she gets older so we actually have another piece so that way we can remove this and it'll turn into an actual bed and yeah so from here the pink wall we decided just to do one single wall of blush pink because like I said, we wanted to make this transition easier for us in the future and just in case if we end up having a boy in the future or maybe she doesn't even like pink and she wants to change her room. This color, I believe, is called Prairie Rose, right? Mm -hmm. If not, I'll have a link down below for you guys. And then we wanted to do something, like I said, bird theme. And we thought the perfect thing to do was just a tree with like some birds and again incorporating the white with the gold. So the tree and birds decal is all from Wayfair. It actually comes all together. Me and my husband just ended up putting it together and like you can actually put it however you want. We just ended up having it like having fun when we were doing it. Um, but yeah, it turned out to be perfect just to fit right here. Um, the only thing is that it's not long enough. The tree, we had to like raise it up because it was too short. So we had to raise it up, but it's okay. Um, in her crib, we also did already put the camera. This is the Nanit. Um, it's so highly recommended by a lot of people. And not only that, but it also has amazing reviews. So we got it at Bye Bye Baby. And then this was a gift from our friend Diana. And I love it because it has little birds. It fits so perfect, honestly, because it's also like, you know, with the blush pink and then it's bird theme. So it's just so cute. But, you know, it's going to be here for her for when she starts sleeping in her crib. And then I ended up having these sheets that have like little like feathers on them. And again, blush pink with gold in them and white. It was just like perfect. <laughs> and then we also have this like 
little blanket on the side. Moving on to this section over here, I wanted this section to be where I will be spending time like reading to her, um, you know, just bonding time with her and also not just me, just also my husband or anyone else that wants to bond with her and read to her. So we have all of her books up here. Well, not all of them because actually we have a lot of them. But the majority of our favorite ones, we have them up here. And these, um, these shells are from Pottery Barn. And then at the top, I have my own books that I've been reading. And then we have this little like J over here on the side. It actually turns on and off. This was a lovely gift from my uh, wax lady. It was so cute. Like I didn't expect a gift from her, but she's honestly seen me since the very beginning of my pregnancy. And she has seen my baby girl grow. So she got me this little gift and I just thought it was so perfect for there. So we ended up putting it right here in her little area of her reading books, but um, I just love it. Then we have here what I like to call my mama chair <laughs> because this is so comfy. I can literally sleep in here, but this one again is from Pottery Barn and I just love it because it also, um, you can raise up the feet. There it goes. I do plan on getting like a little pillow for it so I can have extra back support, but I still haven't been able to find one that's super cute that would go with it, with the whole theme. So I'm still on the hunt for the pillow. Um, on the side, I did want a lamp, but also a side table. When I saw this one online on the site Bed Bath & Beyond, I think that that's where I got it from, I think. Um, I loved it because it was a two-in-one thing. It's a lamp and it's also a side table. So I just thought it was perfect and because it's white and gold, I was like, done deal. Like, <laughs> And then right here we have um, just her night light. Um, this one is actually a night light and a daylight. So it changes color so that way she knows when it's daylight and when it's night nighttime. So when it's bedtime, it'll turn a certain color, the one that we, we choose, because you can actually pick it from the app. But when it's time to wake up, it'll change a different color and she'll know. So it's kind of like to help her know when it's daytime and nighttime. So it's supposed to help. And it also has a white noise machine um, built into it. So, you know, it can help her go to sleep and all. Moving on to this side, these are the curtains that we went with. These are blackout curtains. Again, from Bed Bath, um, actually Pottery Barn. <laughs> we loved it because it has the cute little bows. It seemed just super girly and we loved how they look. And they're also like that type of um, linen fabric. So they're very durable and yeah, so. We just went with a blackout curtain so that way it helps her, you know, keep everything super dark and just with her nightlight. So the rug, we also got it from Pottery Barn and I went with this type of blush pink rug. I didn't know if I wanted a white one, but I thought it would be messy if I picked a white one because I have gone through so many white rugs and it's always a mess. <laughs> It's, it's always so hard to maintain it clean. So this time we decided to go for a blush pink since that's kind of like the main theme of her room. And it's also an easy transition that we can later swap out for another color if she wanted to. So yeah, but we ended up going with this one. It kind of has like some chevron type of detail on it. It's super cute. Now moving on to this side, we also have her toy corner. So in here, there's a lot of toys for her. There's a lot of like, you know, stuffed animals and all those things um, but a lot of the majority is her toys and then we also have up here in a display this little Frenchie because um, this was a gift from one of our subscribers so we have this up here we also have her diffuser up here we wanted it to be more closer to her but we're still not sure but for right now it's here and then we also have her jewelry box up here we also put this um, bird cage up here this is actually from the baby shower um, these were the centerpieces from the table and I kept three actually one big one and two small and we were gonna put the other two but I felt like it was a little too much so we only ended up having one and my husband actually decorated it with this like blush pink um, faux flowers that we got on Amazon and I don't know where this is from because honestly I just hired um, Elegancia Services to do all of the decorating and they just came with the with the bird cages so I honestly don't know where he got them from you guys over here we got these at home goods I wanted still something like some type of pictures but 
there wasn't any honestly about birthing we tried looking everywhere there was just nothing and then one time, one day just randomly we went into home goods and we found these like feather type of canvases and we just we were like wow it's perfect like it's the feathers and we love what they say and it's blush pink so yes we're taking them <laughs> so we ended up putting them right here and i just love what they say dream love believe hope so they just fit perfect here we have her changing table and dresser so the dresser is from pottery barn and i loved it because it looks super modern um because of the fact that the her crib is more like modern type of style um we wanted to have something that was a little more modern looking and this is actually from pottery barn's modern baby line so we we were like looking at all of them and this is the one that we both fell in love with and we love that it has the gold handles and that it has a little gold detail at the bottom so we picked this one out and then right here we do have her changing um pad up here with the wipes and then the diapers super easy little station right here that we have just you know for this but um yeah in here obviously we have all kinds of stuff like her little towels her little newborn co newborn clothes and zero to three months for right now um just because you know that's what she probably will be using for right now um so a lot of the stuff is in here of her clothes there's only a few things that we have hanged up the mirror is from Amazon. I just wanted to do something different other than just a circle or a square. So we went with this hexagon brass mirror and it fit perfect here. And then this lamp, we're not sure if we want to keep it or not, honestly, because it's like a little, I don't know. I don't feel like it's safe enough. <laughs> and I don't like the way that it looks, but it's from Target and most likely we're going to change it. We just loved it because of the color, but Honestly, no, I think we're gonna change it, you guys. Um, and also because we just have a lot of night lights already, so I think we're good. I don't think we need it. But just in case if you guys were interested in it, it is from Target, but like, as you can see, it's like so flimsy. Like, I feel like it'll just fall on its own. Her closet, I'm not gonna lie, it's still not 100% organized because we're still waiting for more of her little boxes, but for right now, we do have a few clothes hanged up here for the majority of them. They're just jackets or like cute little, you know, dresses or whatever. But it's all hanged right here. And then we also have extra stuff up here because of the reason that they gifted us um, clothes from like for when she's 6 months, 9 months, 12, um, 18 months. So it's all like separated, but we have a lot of her stuff up here too, just in case. You know as she continues to grow we'll transition it to her dresser but um it's still not completely organized you guys we still have a little bit of organizing to do in her closet but i didn't want to like take my time organizing it waiting for everything to be cute so i can put up this video because i know you guys have been waiting for it so i was like eh, it's, i think it's okay if i show it just like the way it is right now but yeah you guys that is her nursery I'm pretty sure I'm still going to continue doing a few changes here and there, but I also would like to see what kind of suggestions you guys have as to safety stuff because I honestly don't know much about it. I've done, I've tried to do a few research things here and there, but um, if you guys can help me with any tips, that would be really, really helpful, you know, and I would appreciate it. But yeah, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, I will be doing what's in my hospital bag, so stay tuned for that. I don't know if I will be able to get it up before I give birth or after. But if it's after, for sure I'm going to still do it and let you guys know also in that same video what I actually used from my hospital bag that I took with me. But yeah, you guys. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys on the next video.